In this lecture, let us try to create an animation named Make Me Laugh. So, we are going to make use of the concept of tweening in this lecture to make this animation. So, this is how the animation will work. It will be a sad face first and then we will make it a smiley face using some transitions. So, let's see how to do this Make Me Laugh animation. So, to have the face shape on our web page, let's make use of the SVG elements circle shape. Okay, so let me add the SVG first. So, SVG, let me have the ID SVG and let me set the width and height and also the background color using CSS. So, here let me add style tag and within this, let me access the SVG using its ID. So, hash SVG and let me specify the width as say 350px and also the height as 350px and let me set the background color to be pink. Now, let's check the output. Let me save this. See, this is the SVG. Now, we are seeing but it is not having the height of 350px I think. Because it is not displayed as a square, let me check the code. Okay, here I haven't put a semicolon. Okay, now let me save this. See, this is our SVG element. Next, what we need to have, we need to have a circle as the outline of the face, then two filled circles as eyes, and also an arc which we need to animate using D3's transition, right? So, within this SVG, first let me add the face circle. So, let me specify circle and let me set its CX, CY and R values. So, let the CX be say 150 so that it will be almost at the center of the SVG. CY also 150 and let me specify the radius as 120. Okay. So, a circle is added and let me also specify some ID for this. Let the ID be say face. So, we can style it using its ID here. So, hash face and let me specify the fill color to be yellow. Then stroke to be black and also stroke width to be say 4. So, we will have a yellow circle having outline black and width 4. Let me save this and check. See, this is the circle we are seeing. Next, we need to have two circles as eyes, right? So, let me specify here. After the circle, let me again add one more circle and we need to specify the CX, CY and radius for these circles that are going to be displayed as eyes, right? So, let me specify the CX as say 100, then CY as 120 and radius as 15. We want a small circle only, right? And let me add a class name like eyes so that we can have the common class name for both the circles. So, this is the left eye and let me copy this and paste it here. And we can just change the value of CX, right? Because the Y value should be the same for both the circles as they need to be displayed horizontally. So, let me make this 200. And if you want to change, we can change later, okay? And here, let me style the eyes. So, as it is a class name, I can specify dot eyes. And let me just specify fill to be black. Because we need to have black eyes or black filled circles. Now, let me save this and check the positions. See, we are seeing small two circles. Next, what we need to have? We need to have an arc here, which will be first as a sad mouth and later we will make it a smiley mouth. So, what we can do? We actually need to have a path and later we can specify the value of B attribute by specifying M if we want to move to a point. Then if you want to draw a curve, we can either use C or S. C is for cubic curve and S is for smooth curve. So, let us first add a path here. 
So within the SVG, again, let me add path and let me specify its ID as say mouth. So it is looking like a mouth. So I have specified the path element, but we haven't set any value for this. So we are going to do that from the tweening section that is from the animation part. So how our page will now look like? It is just a circle that is a face and two circles for eyes. Next we need to do the animation part for the path element using tweening. So how we can do that? Let me add the script section. Okay. And what we need to access? We need to access this path element. So I can specify d3 dot select hash svg then its child hash mouth so this is a css based selector first it will select the element having id svg then this symbol is used to represent child elements and hash mouth is a child element of the svg element right next what we need to do we actually need to set the value for the d attribute so we can use the attr tween method but we need to do it as an animation so let me specify transition then dot duration as say 5 seconds and then we need to set the value of d attribute so as d is an attribute we need to use the attr tween method right and what value is to be set we need to specify d and here why we are using tweening because we haven't set the initial value here and we are going to do it using tweening and here what should we specify and we need to specify function and here we need to return what should be returned we can specify return function of l if i am using l within the function as well and here we need to specify the path so how we can specify the path for the mouth let me take a new file to explain that actually we can use c or s if you want to draw curves right so if you are specifying c then you need to pass the starting point ending point and also two control points that is the control points will be where the curve will be drawn and we also have to pass the starting and ending points of the curve if you are using the smooth curve method that is s in that case you only have to specify only one control point instead of two that is if you are using c you have to pass starting point two control points and end point whereas if you are using s that is smooth curve then you only have to pass one control point that is a starting one control point and end so let's use s here so suppose you want to start your curve from 50 100 then you first have to specify m to move to then 50 and 100 here 50 is the x coordinate and 100 is the y coordinate later you want to specify the control point so in case of s you just have to specify one control point so suppose you specify the control point as 75 100 and later you have to specify the end point suppose you want to make it at 100 100 then this will be actually a straight line right because all the y values are the same here as you could see all the y values are same so if i copy this and make it as the value of d that is here as d if i specify this let me also style this path so let me specify hash mouth let me set the stroke as black stroke width as say 4 itself and let me specify fill to be none otherwise the shape will be filled right so let me save this and show you okay we are not seeing any line anywhere in the svg let me check the code okay here as we have written the script section and set d and no value that is why we are not seeing any output i think let me cut it for the time being let me save this see it is showing a line from 50 100 that is what we have specified here 50 100 
and from there 7500 is the control point suppose we make it say 75 150 then it will look like a curve let me save this see it is now looking like a curve so making use of this m and s that is a smooth curve we can actually draw a mouth like shape that is just a curve right so let me remove this i just wanted to show you how we are going to make use of the d attribute let me paste what we have written 